everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to a guide and showcase for my Summon Raging Spirits Guardian League starter. The SOS Guardian is an easy to play minion build with good damage, survivability, and speed. The SOS minions are aggressive and fast, but they have a short duration and require frequent resummoning. The build in this guide does not use any unique items, so it is suitable for a fresh league start or solo save found. As you get more currency during the league and progress into the end game, you can easily transition into the high budget SOS build, which I will cover in another video. Here are some tips to play the build. Set Molten Shell to your left mouse button so it auto casts while you are moving. Use Flame Dash to get out of danger or to jump over obstacles. Only cast SRS when Unleash has fully recharged. If you find a dangerous monster, cast Signal Prey to focus fire and Flammability to reduce fire resistance. There are several support specters that you can use. During the story act, I recommend a Carnage Chieftain from Act 2. The Frenzy Charges will give a boost to the SOS damage as well as your cast speed. If you prefer more survivability, you can try the Undying Evangelist from Act 3. The Proximity Shield blocks all hits from outside the shield. You can get a big damage boost from Zoff's Favored and Loyal when you encounter a bridge or use a bridge stone. Zoff's Favored gives a 20% damage buff, and Zoff's Loyal makes enemies take 20% increased damage. Here is the passive tree at level 90. There are three key features. Two extra passive points from killing all bandits in Act 2. Arcane Guardian is anointed on the amulet. And eight masters. There are four dual sockets that you can use for ghastly eye jaws. The important mods are life, minion damage, and added fire damage. If you are having mana problems, Use the Concord's efficiency from Act 8. The ascendancies are Radiant Crusade, 
Unwavering Crusade, Bastion of Hope, and Time of Need. The Pantheons of Brian King and Aberath for Freeze and Burning Ground Immunity. Here is an overview of the gear, including gems, links, and examples. Overall, the priority is to get the highest life mode on all items. You can self-craft this using Essence of Greed. Also, make sure you have 75% elemental resistance and positive chaos resistance. Lastly, I recommend getting gear that has an armor and energy shield. This will make coloring the sockets much easier because almost every gem is red or blue. For the helmet, I recommend reservation efficiency and cast speed. You can also try to get plus 2 to all minion gems. The gems are Ray Spectre, Carrion Golem, Meat Shield, and Increased Duration. For the body armor, I recommend a chance to block spells and increase offering effect. Use the crafting bench to add increased maximum life and mana. The gems are Summon Raging Spirit, Unleash, Minion Damage, Predator, Melee Splash, and Fire Penetration. You can swap Melee Splash to Multi Strike if you need more single target DPS. For the gloves, I recommend fire exposure and increase minion damage. You can craft minion damage with an essence of fear. The gems are determination, tempest shield, and flammability. The fourth socket is free in the league starter. For the boots, I recommend avoid being poisoned and scorched ground. The gems are Anger, Generosity, Convocation, and Flame Dash. You can use an Essence of Fear to craft your starting wand. Then upgrade to a wand with plus one to all spells or plus one to minion spells. The gems are Desecrate, Flesh Offering, and Life Tap. The special craft trigger a socket spell will also cast the socketed gems. You can get it from unveiling weapons from syndicate encounters. For your shield, look for plus 1 to all fire spells or plus 1 to minion spells. The gems are cast when damage taken linked to frost wall and the unlinked molten shell. I keep my cast when damage taken at level 4 and Frost Wall at level 12. Use your amulets and rings to get as much life and resistance as possible. You will also need to craft non-channeling skills have minus 7 to total mana cost. And anoint your amulet with Arcane Guardian for extra spell block. For the belt, Use a good leather belt or Stygian vice with a ghastly eye jaw. For the flasks, I like to use Life with Bleed Immunity, Basalt with Extra Armor, Quicksilver, Quartz with Burning Removal, and Granite with Poison Immunity. The POV has leveling trees for each act, as well as some different sets of example gear. If you can't run Path of Building, you can click on the pop-in link to see all the info on your browser. You can also find links to the build planner and the complete Act 1 to 10 walkthrough in the video description. With thanks to my patrons for your support. Here is a list of absolute legends, and there are more patrons in the other tier. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below.
and please check the pin comment for any updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.